This is my Pelican 1510 case, and over the years, it seems like Pelican has really become the industry standard for really anybody who's interested in protecting their gear, whatever it may be. With Pelican, you kind of get the, what they claim is drop proof, waterproof, crush proof, anything that breaks on this thing. It's lifetime warranty, handle breaks, wheels break, pretty much anything. They either replace it or they give you a new one. So with the Pelican name, you're, you're really getting a lot for your money. It goes a long way. And I really have no complaints on this case. I've had it for a while. It's taken a couple bumps and bruises, but it's, it keeps going. There's really no stopping with this thing. And for me, like I said, when you buy this 1510 case, you kind of know what you're getting. They give you the specs right off the bat. It's carry-on size, and it's heavy, it's rugged, it's everything. But you, that doesn't stop me from complaining, you know, nitpicking. For me, really, like I said, I knew what I was getting in, what I was getting once I bought this thing. So, But the only complaint I really have is really transporting it. This thing... No doubt if you have one or any other Pelican case, it's kind of a pain in the ass to transport. With this one, obviously, you have the, the handle and the roller wheels. It's a carry-on. It's meant to be like a carry-on and luggage. So you can transport around and whatnot, but what do you do when you're in the mountains? You have your super rugged, waterproof, crush-proof, everything-proof, <laughs> life-proof, really, Pelican case. But how the hell do you get this thing from the base of a mountain to the top of the mountain or whatever hike you may be going on it's a pain in the ass no matter how you look at it when you carry it by the handle and you try dragging it across rocks that's not really going to happen so with my train of thought i thought what if you try to turn this thing into a backpack what if there were like somehow get backpack straps on this thing so of course i'm not very original somebody has thought of this idea already uh, go on Google, search it up, backpack straps, Pelican 1510 or something like that, and you get the ruck pack. Seems like a great idea, but there's a few problems, and a few problems that I saw with the design, and a few problems that other people are complaining about in the reviews. Obviously, everybody's complaining about its ease of use, or lack thereof, really because when you use the ruck pack, I don't have it, obviously, but other people are saying that it's hard to put on, it takes a long time, and of course, one of the main reasons why you get in this thing is because it's carry-on size, right? So you can take it around the airport and whatnot. But the thing with the ruck pack backpack system is that it's, it actually takes away your ability to use the wheels because it wraps around the bottom wheels and that's, that's, that's how it partly attaches, and that's kind of inconvenient for me well, I really have two complaints. First of all, the damn thing is a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for two backpack straps for your 1510. <sighs> it costs like half the price of the case, if not more, I think. So it made no sense for me. First off, the bat with a hundred dollars. Second complaint, if you look at the design of the strap itself, it looks like it's complete murder on your back. It's two straps with absolutely no padding for your back or anything. If you look at the 1510 case, it's pure hard plastic. Imagine having 50 pounds of gear or however much stuff you have in here. Strap it to your back with no padding. Oh man, I cannot even imagine the pain that you could go through doing a hike like that. So of course... The ruck pack for me was out of the question. I didn't want to have to deal with that just with all the the setbacks that it comes with. So, of course, being the, the DIY person, I think around, what can I do to make a backpack system for this thing? Of course, I have the um, the DJI Inspire Pro and I have the, the Phantom 4s and all that stuff. And for those, the, the DJI Inspire already comes with a case, a big ass case. But... I came through the same train of thought. What if I turned that into a backpack? And <laughs> I actually bought this for my Inspire case. It's just a generic backpack system for the Inspire case. So I was like, you know, the Inspire case and the, the, the Pelican 1510, it's a very similar in size. Maybe this can fit on this. Lo and behold, it does work. So I'm showing you today an alternative to the Ruck Pack system. This no name generic backpack strap that I'll be linking down in the description below if you're interested in doing this. So let's get started. 
so I'll be the first to admit that this kind of looks like a giant mess right now, but just try to imagine with me. In the front, we have four buckles, and essentially the buckles strap around on four sides of your case, and it just makes a square to cradle whatever case you might be using this on. And let's just get this thing onto my 1510 to really show you <laughs> what this thing can do. So I like to just take the two size buckles and the top buckle off, and just start at the top. As you can see, there is a little handle for you to kind of just use it as a backpack handle. I mean, it's not too complicated. I like to raise the handle on the 1510, strap it through, just to make it a little bit more secure. From here, we take the bottom strap, loop it to the bottom, lock it down. The next two side straps. It would be a little bit easier if I wasn't trying to make a video on this thing, but you know. How long did that take me? Like 30 seconds maybe? So essentially, that's really all there is to it. You have all the functions of the 1510. You have padding for your back against this bare hard ass case. And like I said, all the functions, the wheels still work. So there you go. A cheap alternative to the ruck pack system. I think this works pretty well. I've taken on a couple hikes and you know, it works. It's the best you can do. It's by far, I'm assuming, far more comfortable than the, the ruck pack system. So if you like this video, like I said, I'll leave links down in the description below to for you to try this for yourself, get it for yourself. And if you like the video, like I said, give me a thumbs up, share it, comment down below, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.